Today's gonna be fun. And look at all the power-ups that spawn on the map that you'd never see without the map. The one in particular I'm looking at today is the question mark. And while I'm waiting, we're also going to grab the lightning ring. I think I'm actually going to have to stop and upgrade myself a little bit, because if I walk straight there, I'm going to die. I grabbed a few quick little upgrades. Basically, I just need enough to be able to clear a path in front of me as I walk. That way I can get experience along the walk. Otherwise, yeah, we're going to get overwhelmed at some point. Uh, about six minutes of walking later, we're almost there. And this is what we we're looking for. Didn't realize there was going to be a wave of enemies here. Uh, okay, we're going to have to get a little stronger before we get in there. Uh, pentagram might actually be really good for just this little problem. Yeah, we're going to try that. Uh, too bad they weren't in frame up here, but that's fine. We'll get them in a moment. Or we'll eventually just kill our way through them. Uh, either way, we'll make some progress eventually. Man, these guys are really tough. Did not realize this was going to be like this. But the other enemies are actually pushing them out of the way, so if they get in there and mess with them enough, they might actually give me a gap. Okay, my pentagram went off at the right time, so lucky me. Give me what's in here. Anyways, I've unlocked her. Now, the reason I wanted her was because the weapon I unlocked last time on the very hard level combines with her weapons to make some kind of new ultimate that I really want to see. What I forgot about is that she costs $1,800, which we don't have. Okay, the first thing I need to buy is Pugnala, beautiful name for $1,800. She also gains plus one might every level, which is damage. And then $4,500 does not go as far as you'd think it would. I could get a few upgrades like max health or recovery, so I choose to save up for a better upgrade. Okay, let's attempt Gallo Tower. I think it's going to be harder than a dairy plant, which we barely got through. So to start, we've got these two weapons that fire like that. They go pew pew and fire balls of energy. Next, I guess I'm going to take a Pichon. Uh, it's not the greatest starter thing, but it will combine later into a super good weapon. Uh, also, the candles explode on either side. This is a very interesting level so far. It's shaped in an up and down orientation. Look at all those things to grab. I think I'm going to head downwards because I, for some reason, feel more comfortable moving downwards. Well, maybe take a fire wand now, just because I feel like I'm going to want some close range uh, damage. It's going to help me kill things nearby. I am tempted to try the Rune Tracer's ultimate weapon too, and the Rune Tracer by itself does seem to be pretty good. It's the one that fires out and bounces off the edges of the screens. And if we get enough upgrades, that's going to come in handy because it'll just bounce around, hopefully murdering everything around. Okay, there's the Ebony Wings I need for my Super Pichone. Uh, then I'm not going to upgrade those for a little bit. I'm going to try and upgrade the weapon that I'm holding in my hands. Uh, by that, I mean the one that uh, comes with this character. Uh, we'll get that nice and leveled up and we'll hopefully get all the experience we need to get a whole bunch of things. Well, not a lot of good options here. I guess the Pichon it is. But I can already tell how hard this level is going to get because the enemies are already seem to be a little bit resistant to damage and I'm a minute and a half in. I accidentally just bought the Candelabrador, so that's fine. I guess we're just going to go with that one. Okay, we are going to take this finish though because that combines with my fire wand eventually plus gives me 10% damage, which I really feel like we're going to need at some point. Uh, the clover is interesting, but we're going to take upgrading my whatever. So that way it fires more pebbles. So eventually we should be able to combine both of those two with another item so we're going to turn three items into one which will get me more room so we're going to upgrade this so we're firing more projectiles again and here's our first boss it's basically goro there's not a lot of new good options here so we're going to go with the pichon again i could banish some of that but i'm going to wait till uh it's i'm going to use the banish basically as a skip there's another condelabrador out of the chest so my things just have a bigger area of effect which just means more damage overall and look at how big my little uh laser balls are it is actually tempting to take the crown for that 8% experience. I think I'm going to do it. I'll just level up quicker, get more powerful quicker, and uh, we got lots of upgrades on the ground. Oh, look, a witch thing. Oh, it fires balls too. We're going to have a ball fight. I'm going to try and do mine from a... Oh, I didn't even see that up there. Yeah, come closer. Why is it hiding in a corner up here? All right, everyone's dead. Thinking about it, I probably could have saved that for a more intense situation. But I'm not exactly known for making wise and intelligent choices. I think we've all come to accept that by now. Fire zone more projectile. I still need the um, thing that I've unlocked too. So for now, we're going to go with maybe the Pichon because I'm closer to its ultimate upgrade. All right, we're going to take more experience gain. Uh, that's not an immediate power up, but it's a good investment in the future. We'll just get more power ups quicker from here on out. And every once in a while, those dragon things come by. Uh, not really sure what their deal is, but they just kind of flutter on by and I mostly ignore them. Okay, this is the five minute mark, so things are stepping up a little bit in difficulty, but it's not too bad yet. Oh, I didn't realize I was upgrading both of these. That's perfectly fine. I'll just have two upgrades, uh, two weapons to upgrade, and that's just all the better, really. 
Keep in mind this character every level up we get gives her uh, extra damage. I also don't want any of this so let's just give myself an extra 10% damage real quick. That's just going to increase damage everywhere 10%. And there's an upgrade to my Rune Tracer which is easy damage. Uh, right away we're going to go for Pichon. I think I like sitting here because I can actually catch enemies in this corner so it kind of thins them out. If I can get at least some of them stuck there that's just less I have to deal with immediately and I can take on the other ones when I feel like it. Uh, the exploding candles have shown up again. Luckily they explode way out there so I mostly just stay here and I'm fine. Now we're getting little devils with pitchforks. I need to stop walking into enemies but I'm getting a little complacent because so far this isn't as hard as I thought it would be. I do suspect it's going to get very hard at some point but for now I'm just going to enjoy the ride. I've also kind of walked myself into a bit of a corner but I wanted that. Okay armor does combine with my rune tracer. It's also going to give me a little more toughness which may come in handy but anyways we can now get the ultimate version of the rune tracer with enough levels. And the rune tracer by itself seems pretty good so the ultimate version I'm sure is lovely. Lots of the dragons are spawning and they really cut off the passage like I couldn't go up. What if I hit this? Oh, the dragons don't drop anything good. Okay, we're gonna do a little more damage for my pew pew guns. There is a chest up above. I might not grab that yet until I can get an ultimate evolution because I don't know how often I'm gonna get chests on this level. So I want to save them for when I'm pretty sure I can get an ultimate evolution. I'm also gonna save that food that's in a dangerous corner for when I'm gonna need it and then I can hopefully go grab it. Okay, I'm tempted to banish, banish Pomerola because I don't want it and it keeps showing up. It could be uh, something better in that spot, but whatever for now. I'm tempted just to do a duplicator for now. I'm going to do a duplicator for now just because I want that extra projectile. That's a really powerful upgrade by itself. And especially with my rune tracer since the projectile gave me a second one. So it doubled the rune tracer's effectiveness. Okay, I finally got it. Tiragisu. That combines with my two main weapons to give me the ultimate version. So three items combine into one. And that's going to give me more space again in my uh, item bar. So I'll get more items. But we'll see. We're coming up in 10 minutes. So I would really, really like to get an ultimate weapon by then. Lots of enemies coming in so far with all my armor and stuff they're not hurting that bad adds one revival tempting to do that now just in case let's go for damage first we'll get that eventually i don't think we're gonna die anytime soon but i've been wrong before especially about dying soon uh, about to get another level up so let's do duplicator more projectiles more damage more safety in theory we're gonna pick that chest up pretty soon i just don't know if i can uh do an ultimate evolution yet Probably not because this one's only level 5, but I don't really know how that one works. So far this really isn't that bad. I expected it to be a lot harder, but it might be due also to the character being strong. I think this thing will drop me a chest if I kill it, which I should quickly because we're hitting it with the laser balls. This is the 10 minute challenge. It basically spawned more of those witches that aren't a big concern for me. Uh, rune tracer damage. I must have killed the witch, so we get a chest regardless. Which gave me a Candelabrador, which is great, but not overly great. But the bigger everything gets, the stronger I'm going to be. But that chest did show me I'm not ready for any ultimate evolutions yet. So we'll keep working towards that as much as we can. The chests do seem to be pretty rare. So I'm definitely going to try and uh, hold on to them when I see them for when we can actually get something out of them. I don't know which one I want to start on. Maybe Rune Tracer would be better because it's closer. I only need to get one of them leveled up for now. And every one ultimate evolution makes a big difference. Okay, he should drop me a chest also. So we're going to be in good shape chest wise. I'm being attacked by some toilet brushes that don't actually seem to be as strong as I thought. Everything here looks very intimidating but so far I'm kind of melting it which is a good problem to have. So we're gonna keep killing things. I think I've got two chests sitting more or less in front of me so I'll pick those up when I can. I probably don't want those to hit me. I feel like they're gonna do a lot of damage. It's getting hard to uh, pick up the gems without picking up the chest. There's a lot of gems sitting down there. I do have a bigger pickup area thanks to some of my whatever permanent upgrades. Okay, there's, uh, ooh, it's tempting to do that one too. Let's do Rune Tracer again. I want to get Rune Tracer's ultimate version, then we'll do the other thing. There's going to be another idiot for another chest too, so this is good. And at the rate we're killing things, it's not going to take us long to get anywhere. Uh, we're going to do upgrade that thing. Armor would be tempting to upgrade too, but we'll get there automatically anyway. Let's get the good upgrades first. I want damage over armor. Okay, the blue idiot just died and didn't drop me a chest, so I'm not super uh, excited about that. Uh, let's do Pichon, I guess. Lots of gems sitting down here. Uh, okay. Uh, spinach it is then. At the rate we're finding things, I might just have to pick up those chests and just hope we get really lucky with something or they transform in a way that, uh, they can already be done. Okay, uh, let's do a revival, I guess. Almost picked up that chest. 
We're gonna try and avoid that for as long as we can though, because I don't know if I get any ultimate upgrades yet. There's no point in picking it up if I can't really get the ultimate. There are three chests on the ground though. Uh, the enemies are getting more frequent, but I did find a fire peanut that seemed to have kind of randomly spawned in here, so we'll take advantage of this firepower for just a second. Oh, look at all up here. There's also a freezy thing. Rune Tracer. So if I pick up this, that should give me the ultimate Rune Tracer upgrade. Nope, that gave me a fire wand instead. That's fine, that's still a free upgrade. Okay, the mobs of enemies are getting stronger. I might just have to go ahead and pick up those chests, hoping for something amazing. Okay, let's do more experience gain. Armor would also not be a terrible idea right now. Our damage resistance is pretty high naturally, but we can never have too much, especially when the enemies are this numerous. Okay, let's do the uh, ebony wings. I think I need to get them both to level 8 to get the super uh, bandolier thing. I might grab one of these chests just to see if it does anything for me. Because the difficulty curve is growing perfect. That's the combination of my two guns that I come with, plus the tiramisu thing. Uh, Firagi. Union of those two scales with revivals. That's doing lasers in all directions. Ooh, I can... yeah, that's fun. It also seems pretty... pretty powerful, so I'm okay with this. This is gonna make things easier, and I have room for more items. I don't want a whip, but I do want a better fire wand. Uh, the lightning ring can go with my duplicator, so actually I want that. That's going to feel really nice too eventually. My items are full again, but we're going to start to do the ebony wings. Uh, maybe the crown for more experience gain. Fire wand. No, let's do the ebony wings. I want the vandalier sooner than later because that's going to be a really good upgrade too. Levels up or level ups are coming quick now. Uh, so we're just going to keep killing things. I don't know if we can get any ultimates right now. Fire wand again. Oh, there's an absorb orb. So let's pick that up and level up. Ebony wings, maybe damage, then ebony wings again, and ebony wings again. I think that'll give me the vandalier if I pick up one of the chests plus damage. Okay, it's also a three-way chest. That's gonna help. So yeah, we got the ultimate, whatever it's called. So now we do have a new item space too. And that also gets upgraded, but we're doing a ton of damage all over the place. Uh, the uh, serpent dragon ghost things can uh, go through my lasers still, so I gotta watch out for them. Uh, let's actually do some more armor. Getting a little nervous about the amount of damage I'm about to take. But so far, so good. Most things can't really get close enough to me to be a problem. What is my armor? Five, I don't know. Let's use a little more armor. Because I'm going to start getting touched by things. I know that much. Uh, let's do the fire wand. We'll get its ultimate version pretty soon also. There's a lot of witches throwing stuff at me now. But my super laser is doing a lot. The projectiles are annoying me though because they're hitting me a lot. Okay, I can get the ultimate fire wand now. That's going to help clear a path for me. Come on. Nope, not a super chest. But there we go, the ultimate fire wand. That means the fireballs are going to pass through idiots now. So this is still getting scary. I want to upgrade this probably because that's probably my most powerful item. My, uh, ooh, these things are quick. Yeah, I'm going to have to start moving and not stop because those things are, wow, okay. I don't know how to deal with, that's how we deal with those. Good. This went from like too easy to suddenly I'm getting touched by things a lot. Uh, okay, we're gonna keep walking in big circles, because I'm a little bit able to survive this way. Uh, uh-huh, because, uh-huh, great, great, taking lots of damage. Can I kill these? I hope once these are gone, they don't come back for a while, because these are way too hard to kill. Uh, and we got a big idiot with a shield. I think the, uh, spinny dragons are slowly dwindling, because we are hitting them quite a lot. Uh, okay, uh, maybe, maybe armor, actually. Just so when they do touch me, I take a little bit less damage. I do think the armor is helping me in a pretty big way. I do have, I don't know how many revives. I'd rather not find out the hard way though. Okay, he died, so I think we can actually... I don't know if that chest would give us anything. I don't know if we have any ultimates left to get. So yeah, there's the ultimate rune tracer, which I forgot about. The lightning ring might actually also do it. So the rune tracer explodes when something, the pentagram good, and is that the ultimate lightning ring? I forget what it looks like. Nope, that's just a regular lightning ring. But we have the potential for a lot more ultimates still, so I think we might be okay. The rune tracer is exploding, which is hopefully helpful. Seems to be so far. What a step up in difficulty though. Once you hit like 17 minutes, things to just go, nope, I'm not dying. I'm just going to spin around in circles and hurt you a lot. So that extra experience uh, crowns that I've been picking up are going to pay dividends now because I really need every the worth of every coin I can get. Uh, Vandalier, let's get you all the way leveled up because you're going to be my money maker, I think. So I like how these just kind of spawn out of the ground all around you. That's not stressful at all. Just got to keep moving. Just keep moving. 
Luckily, we're just doing a lot of damage kind of all over the place, so I am able to thin them out at least a little bit. Uh, 25%, I kind of need that at this point because it's erasing a lot of items that I need. Kind of regret picking that one up. I don't know if there's a way to properly maneuver so these guys don't spawn on me or not. They might have signs on the ground showing where they're about to spawn, but I can't really see them because uh, there's just a lot going on. Uh, let's do Vandalier again. Okay, uh, Vandalier again. I just want that Vandalier leveled up. I think it's going to do the most damage overall. Then we'll worry about the other items, and that shouldn't take long. There's lots of gems on the ground, but there's lots of damage in there. Swirling toilet brushes are back. Oh, we're actually able to kill them pretty good now. Okay, this is better. We're, we're going to be okay. But there's also a chest on the ground. I don't know if I have the spot for any ultimate evolutions yet, though. We'll get there, though. Uh, let's do the lightning ring, I guess. This is 20 minutes, though, so this should be a pretty big challenge. Uh, but we're so far doing okay with the challenge. I think because of our bandolier level. Uh, whoops, I don't know what I just grabbed. I didn't know spacebar would accept things. Also not sure why I hit the spacebar. Okay, I'm... Damn it. Damn it, that took away my chest. Okay, I really gotta upgrade that stupid pentagram. Uh, okay, and the uh, G.I. Joes are coming in hot with their big swords. There's also one of these guys who are... You were like a boss like 40 levels ago. I'm just gonna do that. I just wanted to pick that, that, that up. I don't want to risk losing it to my stupid pentagram. And it, whatever, give me a free upgrade. And the lightning ring will do some damage. Okay, pentagram upgrade. Because it's about to go off and probably delete everything in existence anyway. Eventually it will start sucking everything in, I think. So that'll actually be a really good one if I get it there. For now, we just gotta be sure to survive these morons. Uh, okay, 45% chance not to delete items, so it's only gonna delete one and two currently. We're hopefully get that leveled up even more. I guess it's a good problem to have when I've got so many ultimate evolutions that it's hard to just get time to evolve them all. Pentagram again. Cooldown reduced, but that's okay. That'll help clean things up for me. It'll be interesting uh, at the end of all this to see how much my uh, swirling lasers are doing compared to my uh, bandolier. Okay, pentagram again. Bigger chance not to... Uh, oh, do I want... I'm going to try and get another level up before picking up that chest that will hopefully give me the ultimate pentagram. There's an absorb too. That will get me to where I need to be. I think we lost our chest. No, it's still there. Okay, let's try this. Okay, I've got it now. Generates extra gems and gathers all of them. Yes, that's going to level me up very quick. I probably should have done this earlier. I forgot how good that was. I'm not sure where I took that damage from, but something hit me and I didn't even notice. Oh, the bird things are here. The chickens, especially there's a strong one too. That's hopefully going to give me another ultimate upgrade if I'm lucky. Uh, would be okay if my pentagram wanted to go off. Things are getting hard and it's only 23 minutes. We've got a long ways to go. Uh, lightning ring leveled up. Lightning ring leveled up. Lightning vandalier leveled up. Give me this. And there's the super lightning ring. So we have one, two, three, five ultimate things, I think. Basically, we're pretty strong. Plus all of my might. 159% extra damage. So I think that's why we're managing to keep things at bay a little bit. And now every time we get a level up, we basically just get more coins, which doesn't hurt. We got another 2200 just from this run alone. Okay, we're coming up on the 25 minute mark and we got ourselves a crab a uh, crab that seems to be getting bigger uh what, what, what what's happening all right well so far so good i'm not taking any damage yet so i'm not worried about anything going on oh there's a death thing down there not sure why he is there my pentagram is about to go off though this is a good timing will it kill them okay killed one of the idiots that's fine this crab is very strong all right well there's some more coins not sure what to do about this crab yet uh never mind i think he just died Left me a lovely chest. So I've got four minutes left. I don't think it's worth trying to... I moved that far. Nope, I'm not going to go for those. We'll do those another day. I don't know what they are and I have all the items I want anyway. Probably just going to spend the remaining four minutes killing transformers here. Okay, there's more of the snakes coming in. Uh, and They seem to spawn like directly at me. So I do have to avoid them while dealing with bosses and stuff. So it's actually getting a little bit hard. Nah, maybe hard is the wrong term to use. Harder is probably more accurate. Here yeah, we're coming up to the final minute. Uh, things definitely can and will hurt me. We've got a new uh, type of toilet brush coming at us. Oh, this is actually not super fun. Uh, these things are actually really, really, really strong. So we might have to use a few revives to survive this. Though my pentagram's going off at a pretty good time, I think. Please go off. I can't really see what I'm doing anymore. I'm just hoping I'm surviving. I'm actually going to take floor chickens for a bit because I don't think I can survive that. Uh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of things touching me. Please stop. I've got 25 seconds to survive. I think I've got a few revives, but I don't know how many. I'm surviving, but just, just very barely. 
I need to keep moving into what little free spaces I have. Yeah, I think I'm going to be okay. Uh, floor chicken, just to be sure. And I think I'm actually going to try and set myself right here to try and get the uh, Grim Reaper stuck on that corner if I can. Nope, he spawned up top. Nope, we're dead. But we beat that level. Oh, I can revive. Yeah, we can take him on now. Yeah. He, never mind. So I think the way to upgrade that is to do revives before hitting the ultimate form. Oh, but we unlocked Hyper Gallo Tower for defeating the crab. We unlocked the weapon we already used. So the spinny lasers are about as good as the bandolier, which is crazy. Um, they did about the same DPS. The gorgeous moon did the most, but it eliminates everything all at once. So it's also good.